everyone who they come to get your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our Redeemer, oh Lord, our Father God, we pray to you, Holy Father, King of Glory. And so we open our windows, Holy Father of heaven, and shower every day. With your mercy, with your mercy, with your mercy, with your mercy. in the name of Jesus Christ. In oh, Jesus' God, name we Lord, pray. Come. Oh, do it, oh Lord. Amen. Lastly, lastly, we shall make a declaration over our wife and husband. As as a as as a husband here, you will not lose your wife. Amen. As a wife here, Amen. Amen. As a wife here, Amen. you will not lose the name of Jesus. You Amen. will not lose the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The name of Jesus. Over your wife, mm. death shall be far mm. from you. Who shall be far from you? Pastor Matthew, calamity mm. will be far away from you. Pastor Matthew, mm. calamity mm. will be far away from you. Amen. 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 The name, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the mercy of God and Christ Jesus be our Lord. We are praying. We are praying. And God Almighty, your divine protection will be upon every one of us. By the authority and power in that name of Jesus. By standing that is above every name. Oh, God Almighty, we ask you to pray. That calamity will be found. Even from us in the name of Jesus. Even will be found for me, for my family, for my husband, for my children, for my children, for my sister, for my big brother, in the name of Jesus. Only for the calamity will be found. Far away from us in the name Jesus, that will call upon the only Father King of Glory. That through your great, great might and power, your divine protection will be upon Amen. 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 Pastor Barney, please stand up for us in the next two minutes. Please, you can conclude the prayer as we call up Ali. Uh, Heavenly Father, eternal Father, everlasting King, O be the Buddha, O Lord God Almighty, or to be part of belong to God has spoken one twice about how the power belong to God. But the strength no one can prevail. We thank you, bless your holy, we adore your holy name of God. We thank you for the power, the, the revelation of the word of God. And we thank you for the power, the spirit to pray, the anointing to pray. The Bible says, Hear that, hear prayer unto the earth. Let's come. The Bible says, Whatever you desire, what you pray, believe, and it shall be yours. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, power demonstration, power manifestation. We thank those devils and demons who will be cast out. They will never come back again. We pray, Lord God, as if those things, as, as if they are hurting in, as if there is no way out, as, as if they, I mean, how, how am I going to get, get out of this situation? And we know, Father, arise, Father, arise, because we know the Bible says it shall arise. But those things, as if we are hurting, those things as few cannot get out, no, arise. When you arise, they scatter. Arise, the enemy contending, opposing, challenging, mm-hmm. in our homes, mm-hmm. in our homes, within our mm-hmm. children, but within our marriages, mm-hmm. they scatter, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. 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 Father, mm-hmm. we are, as, as a result of this prayer, mm-hmm. as a result of this prayer, mm-hmm. Lord, give a testimony. Amen. Oh, we thank you, bless your holy name. We commit the rest into the heart and the spirit of control. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, before I call on Pastor Matthew, I think I have about four minutes more. Four minutes more. Um, please, I, I want to do all say this on the platform, and also uh, we should also take it as a challenge. Our prayer request platform, prayer request platform one and platform two. What I personally notice that people are not more sending prayer requests in that platform. And the purpose, and the purpose of that now is that uh, people will just type a prayer message, people will respond. I think the purpose is that they should send prayer requests in that platform. A time like this now, okay, I go through the through the platform. So that we can almost spend some time to pray for people that have a prayer request and look and behold it's not like those days 
that mm. pays to send requests in the platform. The, this uh, Silas, uh, Silas or whatever, they will just type this money, God will bless you, people will respond, amen. But the main purpose is prayer request, that you send it into the platform. I think we need to remind the people once again, I, I will do that, to remind them once again that prayer request platform, send your prayer request in the platform so we will pray for it. That is the main purpose of that. So we are going to pray for this uh, prayer request platform. If I call on Pastor, Pastor Matthew, we are going to pray on this prayer request that God will revive the platform. Amen. That whatever is keeping people away from the platform, whatever is not making them to respond positively for requests in this platform, let's pray. The Lord will revive the platform. The platform will not die. There will be Amen. life. All the participants, Amen. all the people. Amen. Let's ask the Lord that God will bring life upon our prayer request platform. Let's come into the hands of the Lord. Amen. 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 To Lagos, uh, few hours from now for an, an interview. Let's mm. pray that, it, that the Lord God Almighty will make it possible, God will favor him. That Amen. every time, because he has interview tomorrow mm. on Friday, let's pray God will give him mm. safe journey. He's coming through the night, God will give him safe journey. As he attend the interview tomorrow, the Lord God Almighty will actually lay hand upon him, mm. and it will come out where and they will elect him. They will also will be part of the people that they will elect. Let's commit into the hands of the Lord. And the purpose of God, the plan of God for his life will be fulfilled, will come to pass. Would this person we pray that you be among the people be selected according to your will in Jesus? Amen. Let's pray for our pastor that led us now, Pastor Yomi. Let's commit her. He just, uh, is it not about two days? I was going through the Facebook, I just saw that. He celebrate his child uh, uh, naming ceremony. Let's pray for that baby boy or the, that the Lord God will make him okay. that child. That the power of God will keep that mm -hmm. child and the family as well. God will protect them. Mm -hmm. God, God will be with them. That no any evil will come near their dwelling place. Let's commit the ministry to the hands of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for him. That the Lord will protect that child. The child will grow and will be filled with God and filled with man. Thank you, Lord, for the provision for another child who is not entirely related. We want you to love Father. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I will Amen. I really appreciate that Mama Adura Tutu is here. Uh, whenever I do not see her, you know, Amen. when you have a baboon, God will make everyone of us baboon in Jesus' name. <laughs> I always be conscious today. I hear my people go to. So we are Amen. welcome. Mama, God will be with you in Jesus' name. And you will see Thank the respect we Amen. In your experience, Amen. I think you will get God. in touch with Pastor Yomi on the issue of the baby due to your experience as a registered nurse and okay. as in advanced country. So God will help you. Please okay. help you get in touch with him. Uh, Amen. Another Amen. thing that concerns okay. me is that uh, the situation of the family uh, in my language, you see, there is nothing hmm. new under the heart, but this one is too sore. Under the my heart is so, that's so, much. so I don't yeah. know what will be the result. Same I don't know for... the kind of prayer we need to be praying, hmm. but uh, it, it has been hmm. said. Then I want us to continue to pray for the family. It's so sore. I've not seen the this, the end of the hmm. of the game. I don't hmm. want to use game the, the result of the situation. 
But God will be with the mm. family in Jesus. How do they want to do it? The grace of the Lord mm. will be sufficient for mm. them in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. And at this particular mm. time, both the parents and the children, they are mm. going through uh, mm. trial. It's a real trial. It's a real trial. But mm. mighty God will see them through in Jesus' name. And the grace of the Lord will Amen. be open. Um, as I said, December will mm. be a time of thanksgiving for every one of us by the grace of the Lord. And then in my own uh, session, I've decided that we are going to be calling, sorry, individual to table their prayer and the brethren will be praying and we will be praying for them. So today, by the grace of the Lord, I want, I want to, to call, I always call uh, Sister Gio. She was so bored out the time we are postponing prayer, 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 that was happening. That's why the GCK, mm. Almighty God, we continue to be with Sister Esther in Jesus' name. So, and then I suspected that maybe mm-hmm. because it is in the night in Nigeria, most of the people are months. And this is affecting the 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 the, uh, the prayer leader because when he doesn't hear the voice, it's all like, oh, am I speaking to people? But God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. So, Sister Esther, I want you to unmount. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever be you want people to pray for, we are your family, you are our family, so that uh, by the grace of the Lord, we present it before Almighty God tonight in Jesus' name. And uh, by the power of December, mm-hmm. you know, if you we share your own testimony too, in the name of Jesus Christ. Many have been, have been seeing many mm-hmm. with testimony. The same way, Pastor Bani, please, we are ready for the next week uh, to table your prayer request. God will help us in Jesus' name. So, Sister Esther, I want you to yeah. do your prayer request before people. What you need, what God want, what you want God to do for you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. We are listening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Thank you. Please, I want children of God to pray for me. I have one pressing need. Like, uh, I took a loan and I was, I was given, like, to pay before on the same. So I want God to pay me as I go out the transaction that I will get paid. I'm able to pay back the loan. This is a Lord. Over to Hallelujah. Over to us. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The mercy be your mercy. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our, our sister will receive in Jesus. Let's open our mouth. We want us to hear us praying. We want us to hear us praying. We want to see us praying. We want us to see that support. Let's call upon the pastor. Pastor, you are ready to run up for the sister and the, 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 the last pastor to pray for her. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I've been hearing a lot of people about the Lord. Especially in Nigeria, then a case like this will happen. Then the day to say to the people will come up. Let's call up the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we don't know let your understanding. Our sister name, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 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 That by the power and the blood of Jesus there's a many ways this loan can be uh, can be approached. One thing is that is to set it off. Bye bye. Uh, that one let me remember where I was. I was so small. Then my mommy was sending, I think, cooler notes. Could this cooler note? And then uh, somebody came to ask my mom the money she owned uh, about the cooler. Then I, I was fortunate to be there on that day. I was, I think, it was around 87, 88. And I paid the, the woman. Then said that my mommy was saying, do not pay. I can see the relief on her face. That's, we can see somebody like that, that we set this room off. How much is it? And then pay for her. Another thing, maybe renegotiation. <laughs> and then along the line, they renegotiate with the lender. Okay, this is the decision I find myself. What can I, what can I do? 
Another thing is that when you have even spent the money, then but surp- surprisingly, things may turn around and the, the money come out from it. So I don't know how God is going to do it. But all what we need now is the mercy of the Lord. So that our our sister will not will not be put to shame. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Amen. this loan will not turn her to beggar, to 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 mm. be ridiculed. So if you have been in that position, you will know. The, mm. the, 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 the people will be coming and then you will be locking yourself. It will even it led to many people to lie. Mm. Because you won't want them to say you take children, mm. tell them I'm not around. A lot of things. You won't even be able to walk freely in the midst. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That God mm. that see everything and know the beginning of this one and know the end. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will surprise our sister in Jesus' name. Let's call upon the name Amen. of the Lord. Let's call upon the name Father, of the Lord. Friend, that the by the power and the Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, God and Christ, Lord of Lord, we surprise our sister in the name of the power in that name. Jesus, you pray, your warrior. Lord of the land, you pray, your warrior. This is the time Jesus. I'm expecting the you to pray. To call Christ, upon the name of the Lord. Upon the sister. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, heaven with heaven will open. Heaven with heaven. The power of heaven will be open. 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 Bible said the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. The sliver is smite, the gold is smite. We have committed our sister into the hands of the Lord. We have lifted up our heart, our prayer to you, God Almighty. We pray, oh God, you will visit her, you will, you will surprise her, you will favor her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have decreed she will not be put to shame. Amen. Every arrow Amen. of shame and disgrace, we scatter those arrow of shame and disgrace out of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We prophesy to your life beyond your expectation. God is going to surprise you, and God is going to provide abundantly to you and to your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are Amen. asking for our beloved sister, all this while, because of our place of work, she will not be joining us. We thank you for your protection of our life. I mean, Sister Kendi, we bless your name for your love, for your power, for your care upon now. We pray for her more of your grace upon her life. She will Amen. From grace to grace, Amen. from power to power. And our family, we pray, Amen. you will protect Amen. our family Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And for every one of us, oh God, we are praying, give us more more grace, give Amen. us more power, Amen. give us more energy to cross for you and to Amen. do your will. Thank you, oh God. I will pray for this Amen. platform, oh God. Amen. We pray that this platform will not die. Amen. Amen. We pray that in the name of Jesus, there will be a revival in our prayer request platform. As a as, as whole, you bring revival to all active part in this platform in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you because we know you are first. Amen. In Jesus' name, in we Jesus. pray. Amen. 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 
on the platform uh, mm. uh, discussion, please. Uh, awareness Thank you, matter, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Awareness matter more. Thank you, sir. Please, if you can see some of us, do not ever think of what yeah. the platform will do for you, but think of what you can do for the platform. Mm. If you can see anyone of us, they are going to be right. Have you submitted your prayer request today? In fact, or that. It's okay. And the way we just repeat it every day like that, you will see things will change. Things will change. But if we are not creating awareness, there's a lot of uh, challenges. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Let, yeah. Let's share. Yeah. Okay. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord May Jesus the Christ. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love the of love God, God and the sweet and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, with us now uh, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Amen. goodness and mercy Amen. shall follow us. Goodness and mercy we shall dwell in the all the days of, of our lives. Lord. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hey, bless. Mm. So, Mommy, I do mm. to be able to get in touch with the uh, uh, pastor okay? on the Thank naming. You, uh, God will okay. continue. Uh, well, I deserve my comment on that. We, we are just Thank you, sir. 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 Yeah, so God be the glory, man. God bless you, man. Amen. 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 Right. What else okay, do I want to say? Pastor, yes, amen. Okay. Pastor Matthew, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. And then on the uh, on the prayer request, please, any one of us can help us take the up for the challenge. Go we help us in Jesus' name. Because of our time, uh, I think Amen. we have shared the grace. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Good night, sir. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. we honor you and praise your name thank you for the opportunity to always come to the place of prayer the scriptures say i will seek unto god unto god will i commit my cause that was the decision and that was the determination of the worthies of old the men who sought you in time past they saw your very aunt and lord we know that prayer we take a man completely from sin or sin we take a man away from the place of prayer father we ask oh god in the name of jesus christ we ask oh god that you will give us the strength and the power to pray <laughs> The hunger to pray, the energy to pray, the fire to pray, the interest to pray, the passion to pray, all that Lord it will take us to pray. O oh Lord God, bestow upon us that we will not only pray in the church, we will not only pray in our meeting like this. On our own, we will pray in Jesus' name. Lord, the Amen. Bible says shall come to pass that I will fall upon the house of David and the habitant of Israel, the spirit of grace and supplication. I pray, O oh Lord, that the spirit of supplication, you will descend heavily upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Tonight, help us to pray. Tonight, energize us to pray. Tonight, quicken us to pray. <laughs> you will ignite the power of prayer. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to begin to give thanks to God tonight for his loving kindness and tender mercy. Shall we open our mouth and begin to thank the Lord? Thank <clears throat> you. <clears throat> 
Let's open our mouth and begin to give thanks to God. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. Let's reverence him. Let's adore him. I want to Everybody thank you. I want to bless you. you. I want to honor you. I want to reverence you. I want to give holy. you praise. I want Let's to worship give you him. Praise. I want to give you thank honor. You thank you, Father. Thank you for the opportunity. good God. You are a great God. You are a loving God. You are a merciful yes. God. Father, My thank name you. We pray. Amen. In your name we pray. Amen. When you want to know a church that has been revived, when you want to know a church that is on fire, when you want to know a church that, okay, has been massively helped by God, uh, you do not lo look at the attendance or the response of people to just meditation or celebration or ceremony and the rest. You look at the response of people to spiritual matter, like prayer meeting, like prayer exercise, like prayer and fasting. When you look at the response of people, then you can tell the interest of the people you are pastoring or the interest of the people you are leading. We find that many people have lost the interest in spiritual things, interest in even the, the usual JCK. Many leaders, many members, many workers do not even attend anymore. Very unfortunate. Many now attend casually. We are becoming used to spiritual things. So we even come, no preparation. They come and they feel that the GCK or any spiritual meeting is only for the outsiders, only for the unbelievers. To them, it's only for the souls of men and other. And so they come with that manner. No prayer, nothing whatsoever. And then we see a whole lot of things that call for real, 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 real intercession in the place of prayer. And so tonight we are talking about prayer. Uh, I don't have to talk about the importance of prayer because we are having servants of God here. We are having men of God in our midst. These are pastors and leaders who have been in the faith many before me, many, many before me. And I don't have to emphasize the importance of prayer. We all know it. It's, I will only be telling us some few things. Why we need to pray. Things are happening. A lot of things are happening. A lot of children, even in the church, are not following the things that are being taught. You see, many of the young people are being carried away by strange doctrines, by strange teachings. <laughs> <laughs> And talking to them will not do alone. It will take our bended news. That reminds me very quickly of the story of a man called Father Nash. Father Nash was uh, a companion of Charlie Finney. And uh, as, as we read about the story, that whenever uh, Finney, or maybe some of his could say, Father Nash will have to go to the place and be praying, maybe with a partner or somebody else, or group of people, and then or someone, and then they will be watering the place. And by the time Finney will get to the place and begin to minister, the heart of the people will be literally melted, touched, transformed. Why? Because somebody had gone there. And so this is why we are not seeing revival. Of not seeing transformation in the life of people, it is possible. Maybe we have not prayed enough, or maybe we have not prayed to a point God desire us to pray. And so tonight, part of the thing we'll be telling the Lord is that there will be hunger for prayer. There will be hunger in the place of prayer. That we will just be hungry to pray in the day, to pray on the road, to pray in the night, to pray everywhere, to pray. And so at this time. I want to go before the Lord. For me, let me adura. For me, lagbara o baba. For me, let me adura. For me, let me adura. For me, let me adura. For me, lagbara o baba. For me, let me adura. 
O ma chere mi lo ju ogon, fo mi le mi adora, fo mi lagbara o baba, fo mi le mi adora, o ma chere mi lo ju ogon. But to pray that the spirit of prayer will fall upon us as leaders and pastors, that God will descend upon all. Not just 10 minute prayer, not just 15 minute prayer, and then we are tired. No, that the God of heaven will pour upon all the spirit of prayer, the spirit of intercession. God will pour upon us. We find many people now who are giving to talking, giving to gossip, giving to tear bearing. They can backstab people, they can talk and talk of people's problems. They will never intercede for people. They will never pray. No wonder the church is very cold. No wonder there's lukewarmness everywhere. No wonder there's lethargy everywhere. No wonder people are not preparing even for the coming of the Lord. There's general coldness and here and there. We want to pray and say, Father, the spirit of prayer to descend. The spirit of prayer to come down. The scripture say, as the heart panted after the water broke, so panted my heart, my soul after thee, O God. Psalm 42, my soul thirsted for God, for the living God. Let our soul thirst in the name of Jesus. Let's talk to God in prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, we are going to pray at this time. A woman was, was told that a young man, or I think a, a boy, I think it should be a boy. The boy left the home. And then as he left the home, what happened? The, the, young, the mother became so touched and broken, it was Jesus that narrated the story. And then the mother came to church, and the preacher minister, and the, as the preacher minister, the mother came out, and after the message, the mother began to pray. The mother had been so burdened about the lost child. She had been a prodigal child, and then the mother became so disturbed about this prodigal child, and eventually the mother began. And to him. After the message of this particular, after the preaching of this particular uh, servant, and then the mother began to pray. One hour, according to Gia, the woman was still there. Two hours, the woman was still there. Three hours, the woman was still agonizing. And then at the end of about four hours, the burden in the heart of that woman was lifted. Oh my God. <laughs> or oh, whether daughter, now the child. I want to pray right now that the burden for prayer. We discover that prayer becomes sweeter when there is a burden. You find people coming into church, no burden to pray, no desire to pray, no hunger for prayer. Even when you tell people, close your eyes, let's pray now, they begin to do some funny, funny thing. If you call for vigil or all night, how many people do you see coming in your own vigil or coming for all night prayer? Many, many things have become so mechanical. We want to pray that the spirit of prayer will come heavily upon the church, heavily upon our life, heavily upon the household of faith. 
Jesus said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. In the name of Jesus, all the jamborees will go. All the people who are hiding with strange spirit and strange power, and they are not being exposed, and they are operating even in the group, operating in the district, operating in the church with their dark power, and they are not being exposed. It is because there is no fire. It is because there is no revival. If you have read about those stories in Bagada those days, can the strange power come in? Can the strange power come in without being arrested by the power of the Holy Ghost? Without being arrested by the fire of prayer? Without being arrested by the presence of brethren who are living right and living holy? Or what have become the state of the church today? Who want to pray that the revival, so supernatural prayer, so supernatural life of prayer, the Lord will resuscitate our spiritual life. The Lord will revive our soul. Every coldness in the heart, every coldness in our soul, every coldness in our spirit, every coldness in our life, let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn it us. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Can you hear people pray? Anyone, no one talking out, but I want to believe you cannot hear me. I want to believe. That people that can hear me clearly, let's talk to God. We're praying and talking to God. We're praying and talking to the Father. We're praying and talking to the Lord. Let's please pray. Let's please pray. Please pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of intercession, the spirit to agonize, the spirit to call upon the Lord. When we pray in the daily, when we pray in the night, when we pray at all times, we will pray. Oh God, make us pray a machine in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as men make us pray a warrior. My God, we will not just only be thinking that there are some people endowed only with the spirit of prayer. We will give ourselves to prayer, help us to be prayer machine, help us to be giving to prayer, help us to devote our lives to prayer, help us to yield our lives to prayer, help us to give ourselves to prayer. The apostle said we will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the world. Let become our own reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, are you praying? Brethren, are you talking to God in prayer? Asking the Lord that the spirit of prayer will descend heavily upon our life in Jesus' name. We pray. Let me hear amen. Amen means so shall it be. It means that we are together. If I don't get response, it means but maybe we are not together. If there can be just only one single response, it shows I'm not talking to myself. In Jesus' name, amen. we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Now we're going to pray right now. We are going to ask the Lord who wants to pray. We will minister somewhere, and it's like they, 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 you, you can tell. You can tell if the, the, the message is being, is being sharpened by, by the edge of the Holy Ghost. You can tell if the message is being sharpened and is being, is being, is being, is being, is being felt very mightily and powerfully where our spiritual edge has become dull, where our spiritual edge has not been sharp enough, we want to ask the Lord, oh God, as we give ourselves to prayer, our spiritual edge, spiritual ministerial life, oh God, will be sharpened once again. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14, the Bible says, Because ye speak your, my word, I will make my word in your mouth fire, and the people would, and the world shall devour them. We want a situation where we minister and the world shall devour the people. The world shall devour. A sinner cannot be hearing us and no transformation. A sinner cannot be hearing us and no change. A sinner cannot be hearing us and yet they are just there and they are not moved and they are not touched. Oh God in heaven, for the fire of the Holy Ghost in our life, let the power of the living God, the generator, the propensity, the one, the nucleus, the power. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, our ministerial life will be powerful. Our ministerial life will carry light. Our ministerial life will influence light. Whichever location we find ourselves as we minister under the influence of the most high, lives will be transformed. Lives will be changed. We will give ourselves to prayer. Of prayerlessness, oh God, let it be banished. 
whatever is causing prayerlessness, whatever is causing coldness, whatever is causing, oh God, lack of prayer, my God, take it away. In the life of pastor, in the life of leader, take away prayerlessness, take away prayerlessness, take away prayerlessness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn prayerlessness tonight. We pray, O oh God, to you, dear Lord. Come and touch our life. Restore, revive, renew every soul. Come and touch our life. Every code, every look on them in our lives, Lord. In our church, Lord. Come revive us, O oh Lord. We need your touch, O Lord, tonight. Come and touch us, Lord. Restore, renew, revive every soul. Come and touch us, Lord. Every corner, every look on there in our lives, Lord. In our church, Lord. Come revive us, O Lord. Come revive us, O Lord. As leaders, if we are cold, the church will be cold. As leaders, if we are prayerless, it can impact upon the church. As leaders, if we are less fear, and if our altar has nothing, oh God, it can impact upon the church. It can make the powers of darkness to be operational in the church. We want to tell the Lord in the name of Jesus, oh God, let my altar catch fire. My altar of prayer catch fire. My altar of prayer, let it catch fire. Oh God, the Bible says the fire shall not go out of the altar. Let the fire not go out of the altar. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Spirit, the fire of the Holy fire in the place of prayer. Oh God, let it not go out of the altar. The Bible says that the priest shall burn wood on it on daily basis. Let the fire, the fire shall continually be burning. Nothing will quench the fire. Sin will not quench the fire. Coldness will not quench the fire. Prayerlessness will not quench the fire. Ah, talkativeness will not quench the fire. My God, my God, worldliness will not quench the fire. Love of money will not quench the fire. The ephemeral things of this life, the transcend things of this life, will not quench the fire upon our altar. The Bible says that the fire upon the altar shall continually be burning. Let it burn. Oh God, let it burn. Oh God, let it burn. For the sake of the lives that are being upon us, for the sake of the lives we are living, for the sake of the members we are living, for the sake of the precious life before us. Oh God, coldness with the pan. Oh God, look on us with the pan. Oh God, let us give with the pan. Oh Lord, witness with the pan. Sharpen us again. Sharpen us again. Sharpen us again. Sharpen us again. Oh Lord, send your fire right now. Oh God, send your fire right now. Ah, send your fire. Yes, Lord, send your fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, send your fire. Lord, we need it, oh God, at this critical, crucial moment. In the name of Jesus, possess us, dear Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible talks Amen. about it. Amen. 2 verse 15. In Sister Solomon chapter 2 verse 15, we're told of little forces that spawn the vine. Little false oh, that's all the vine who want to check up and they are also uh, their life and their little forces that are coming. For example, talkativeness can spoil prayer life. Yes, some lack of discipline life can spoil some prayer life, some issues in our life can solve, you know, little little unconfessed sin, anger and issues in the family between husband and wife. And your heart is heavy, you cannot pray. Many, many things, even poverty, if hell is not taken, can cause you some issues. And then you're pursuing more 
there's no money. I'm pursuing, I'm pursuing. You forget quiet time, you forget Bible study, you forget revival hour. The art is becoming cold. There are many strategies the devil is using to destroy prayer life this day. There are many strategies. And one of those strategies is to make sure that some people are getting perpetual poverty and no money. And they need to work every now and then, no time for spiritual thing. Before you know, their heart becomes cold and look on. And then before you know, now it used to be a fire before. That man is baptized now or want to pray over. Every strategy for the people fail, for the devil to capture all the devil has failed. Every strategy from the marine world, every strategy from COVID, every strategy from the marine kingdom to capture our life, to capture our prayer life, to capture our spiritual life. Once our prayer life is captured, the devil can capture the family. Once our prayer life is captured, the children can be captured. Once our prayer life is captured, his girl is not taken. The future can be captured. I tell you something. Once your prayer life is captured, many things will go wrong. Many things will become a stake. Many things will be in jeopardy. Oh, God of heaven, by the supernatural power of God, my prayer life will not be captured by sin. My prayer life will not be captured by compromise. My prayer life will not be captured by Satan. My prayer life will not be captured by unconfessed sin. My prayer life will not be captured, oh God, in heaven, by quarreling with God. Anyway, now we will not capture my prayer life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, help me. The devil will not get me. Of the devil will not get me. Children of the devil will not capture me. Marine girls and boys will not capture my soul. My prayer life will be on fire. My heart will be on fire. My eyes will be on fire. My mouth will be on fire. My soul will be on fire. My spirit will be on fire. Coldness come. Look on this God, let that change come. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Of the strategies of Satan that buried that subdued the prayer life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have overcome. I have overcome. I have overcome. I have overcome this day. I have overcome. We have overcome. We have overcome. We have overcome. I shall overcome. I shall overcome. I shall overcome. I shall overcome. Every form of prayerlessness, I shall overcome. Oh Lord, by your grace and power, I shall overcome. I shall conquer. I shall conquer. I shall conquer. I shall conquer. The world will not conquer. Amen. Amen. To tell you the truth, pastors and leaders here, one of the major areas the devil is using to make sure prayer life is captured is to cause misunderstanding. Have you realized? Have you realized? I can tell you this. Have you realized what there is a misunderstanding between you and your wife? Have you realized that if you are not careful, your heart becomes heavy, you cannot pray. And then the devil begins to suggest all kinds of things where this woman has done this and she will not be over me. The devil will not be able to force you to apologize. And if that woman is not spiritual, not understanding that the devil that is doing all of that, that is not in Ephesians 4 27, neither the devil. And then you, not realizing that it's the devil trying to capture, and it is the purpose is to capture the man, the man. And then he's just coming with different strategy and then causing this. And then before you know, you are getting angry. And then before you need to say something you're not supposed to say. And then before you know, you just discover that your heart is filled with guilt and condemnation. And then before you know it, a lot of things are just happening in your heart. And then you cannot pray. Your heart is heavy. Your heart is this and that. And if girl is not taken, that's how people backslide. That's how people go into the world. That's how people become reprobate. That's how people become a slider who want to pray. Every manoeuvring of the children of the Every manoeuvring of the wicked. Every manoeuvring of the children of the I pray in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation, O God of the children of Belia, O God of all my life, O God of my ministry, O God of all my destiny, O Lord, I pray. Every crown of sin, O Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, you will restore us. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, righteous God, every plan of the devil, every strategy of Satan, Every mobilization from the pit of hell 
every that is every gym mix of the devil over my life over my ministry i frustrate it in the name of jesus i rebuke it in the name of jesus oh lord i pray every power that is haunting oh god father my glory my star oh god that is haunting my life haunting my ministry oh god i pray in the name of jesus i will not fall like something in the name of jesus i will not fall like Saul. in the name of jesus i will not fall in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 we are going to pray right now as many of our pastors who are going through some of the things i'm saying and they are going kind of unpalatable experience and it has affected their spiritual life greatly it has affected their bible reading life greatly it has affected the lord even their ministerial life has been affected we want to pray in the name of jesus oh god come to their rescue the devil shall not exist over them enemies shall not exact upon them they will not fail they will not fail because of jesus they will not fail they will not fail they will not fail Almighty oh, Father, we are praying and we are asking in the name of Jesus, Father, any of our pastor, any of our leader, who oh Lord, I pray, that has been captured, that is in the camp of the enemy, in the camp of Satan, in the camp of the wicked, who oh Lord, I pray, rescue them by your mercy, rescue them by your mercy, rescue them by your mercy, rescue them by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, we pray. Any such pastor who oh God, under the dominion, under the cage, under the lock of the devil, O oh Lord, we pray. Rescue them by your power. Rescue them by your fire. Rescue them by your mercy. Rescue them who go from the bear. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, rescue. O oh Lord, rescue. Amen. Amen. Lastly, as I pray now, please, Pastor Mike, you round up this session, and then Pastor Peter will take over. Lastly, we are praying for Pastor Matthew that the very hand of God shall sustain him. All that he has all the things. Please, let's get this clear. Let's get this clear. This one now, we may not need to shout about it. We want to reason with God. The scripture says here, for God is not unrighteous, to forget his labor of love, our labor of love now, he said that God is not unrighteous. In other words, God is a just God. He rewards in a just manner. So he now yeah. says that he's right to, to forget. And now we are going to now tell God, if we are like reasoning with God now, we are trying to, um, to like, uh, how do I do a kind of intellectual discourse. And then we are telling God, look at it. At your, uh, your servant is pain in this area. Won't you answer? But won't you remember him? Won't you have your way? Won't you do this thing? in the name of Jesus? Father, look at this aspect of him. And so quietly now, you want to tell God about him and remind God different area you want. You don't even need, we don't even need to shout about it. We just we're just trying to tell God, Lord, look at this area. Lord, when we mm. use today, how long shall it be? Oh God, how long shall it be? Father, look at this area. Father, look at this area. Almighty Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we bring our leader before you. Father, in the name of Jesus, any challenge that is beyond his power, every challenge that is beyond his strength, Every Jesus. challenge that he cannot handle, every Fine. challenge oh, God. beyond Fine. his knowledge, oh God, I pray, you will arise today, even oh, now, and I pray that that battle, oh God, will be swallowed up in the name of Jesus, mighty Father, I am praying and I am asking, every battle that cannot be seen by the eyes, every secret tears will wipe, oh Lord, I pray, the Bible says, in Lord, you will remember mercy, I pray that your mercy will speak for him, I pray that your mercy will come to his aid, oh Lord, I pray, intervene in his land, intervene in his family, intervene in the name of Jesus, intervene, oh God, 
delivering to God from the hand of him that is stronger than him. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, rescue him by your blood. 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 Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to return the glory to you. We want to thank you for the privilege to call upon you. You promised us in your word. You said, call upon me. You said, I will answer you. You said, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, we know that you are not a man that you should lie. Whatever you have said, you are able to do. Oh Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, all the desires of your servants. Oh Lord, I pray whatever he is asking you for, whatever he is longing for, whatever his heart, oh God, is panting after, oh God, that is according to your will. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if we pray according to your will, you hear it us. Father, it is your will. It is our, the will of our Father in heaven to give us even the kingdom. Oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that Father, all is our desire today, right now, this second, this minute, this hour, this day. Oh Lord, I pray, let it go into record. Let all his our desire be granted unto him in Jesus' name. Mighty Amen. God, mighty Jehovah, we are praying and we are asking. We are looking up to you, that Father, for every one of us individually and collectively. Oh Lord, I pray, according to your word, according to the scriptures of truth, you said in your word that the desire of the righteous shall be granted. All our heart desire. Oh Lord, I pray, let it be granted to us even now in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. as we continue in this prayer, let your presence continue with us. Thank you for prayers that you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Quickly, we want to pray for Pastor Shegu. He just uh, left Lagos this night, uh, heading back to Kogi. And uh, you know, he came for an interview. We are going to pray first of all that God will breath upon all that he has done in that interview. I was with him yesterday, and he told me how everything went. So I'm going to pray that God will breath upon that interview, and if it's the will of God, that God will give him that word. I will pray for our beloved pastor. Almighty Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We bring our pastor, our beloved brother, to you. Lord, we pray, O oh God, we are joining faith together, joining hands together. Father, we pray that what he came to Lagos to do, O oh Lord, I pray, let that thing be fulfilled. Let it be fulfilled. Let it work out in the name of Jesus, according to your will. O oh Lord, I pray, in the name of Jesus, he will be the preferred candidate. O oh Lord, I pray. You will put, oh God, his heart, oh God, his God, oh God, in the heart of all the examiners, oh God, in the workplace, oh Lord, I pray, he will be considered in the name of Jesus, mighty Father, let your mercy speak for him, let mercy go before him, let mercy go after him, oh God, mercy made the crooked places straight, oh Lord, I pray. Where he has no connection, where he knows nobody, oh Lord, he knows you, he knows God. I pray, Father, that the power of our God will work for him in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, show him your mercy. Oh Lord, let mercy speak. Oh God, on his behalf, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, is that desire, let it be granted. Amen. Amen. Now he's on his way, going back to resume work tomorrow morning, Kogi. Let's pray for the mercies of God on the road. Let's pray that God, in infinite mercy, will take him back safely to his children, and there will be no anything that will uh, front uh, uh, people knowing that he made this trip in the name of Jesus. What I'm saying, we should pray for Johnny Mercy, that God will take him back home safely to join with his family in the name of Jesus. 
Let's pray. Almighty Father, we Father, come before we you. Jesus, you said in your word, you said my presence shall go Lord. with you. Who oh, Lord, I pray that your presence will go with him as he journey back home. Oh Lord, Lord, I pray, clear the road for him. Who oh God, grant him journey mercy. Let your spirit and your angel who go go before him and after him. Who go clear the road in the name of Jesus. Mighty and everlasting Father, we pray, O oh God, that he will come back to testify of your goodness, of your mercy. Oh Lord, I pray, let your power rest upon him. Let your dread, the dread of him, oh God, be upon everyone, anything on the way, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray for our other pastors. Pastor Ali is not online. Uh, Pastor Christopher is not online. In fact, it's just me, Pastor Tommy, and Pastor Mike. That is on with Pastor Matthew. We are going to pray for other pastors. Don't know why they are unable to join us this night. That God, that God will visit every one of us and do something new in our lives. Shall we pray? Almighty Father, we bring all our pastors before you, especially those who are not able to attend for one reason or the other. Who oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't know their condition. We don't know their state of heart. We don't know their health condition. We don't know the family condition. Who oh God, I pray, committing them to you. Who oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will be with them. You will help them. You will uphold them with your mighty hand of righteousness. Oh Lord, I pray, you will fight for them. You will provide for them. You will encourage them. You will lift them up. Oh God, I pray, let your power rest upon them. Who oh Lord, be with them. Who oh Lord, keep them by your power. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray that you will strengthen them, even in the inner man. Who oh Lord, I pray, none of them will be discouraged. None of them will be perplexed. None of them, oh God, Father, will be, will be, will be fed up in the name of Jesus. Who oh Lord, I pray, you will encourage them. It shall be well with them. Oh God, I pray, goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their lives. Even we who are online, oh God, I pray you will be with us. You will keep us. You will help us. You will uphold us. You will lift us up. You will encourage us. You will refire us. You will empower us. In, In Jesus, the name of Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to worship and bless your name. For yet another privilege to come before you this night. We thank you for your begun with us in this prayer. We thank you because of the confidence we have that whenever we call upon you, you will always hear us. We know because you are a faithful God that keep to your word. This night you have answered all our petitions in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for our beloved brother, Pastor Shegu, that came to Lagos. For an interview is on his way back to Kogi now. We pray that as you brought him safely to Lagos, you will take him back safely in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the interview he came to do, Father, we pray that you breath upon it. You will make Amen. the management fall in love with him. That as we examine the the interview that they've done for people, I know it might not be the only one. Father, we pray that you will Trust them that your son will be considered first before any other one, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We commit our other leaders, our pastors that are not online tonight. We don't know why they are not here. Father, we pray that you will meet every one of us at the point of our needs, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor Matthew, please. Pastor Matthew can take over, sir.
Hello, sir. Because you have any issue, I'm not hearing you. Hello? Pastor Mike, you can continue. It's, it's like it's easy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Today is the beginning of a new week. We are entering a new week. We have entered a new week already. We want to pray the prayer that the psalmist prayed. The psalmist said in Psalm 23, in verse 6, he says, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the That's days right. of my life. He said, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. We want to make this word of prophecy as we go this week for each pastor, for their wives and family, for children, for the work that we do for a living. For everything that concerns us, we want to pray goodness and mercy will not only follow us, goodness and mercy will pursue us. Amen. Goodness and mercy will overwhelm us. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, goodness and mercy for everyone. Father, we are calling upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, Lord, this week, goodness and mercy for everyone. Goodness and mercy for our wives, goodness and mercy for our children, goodness and mercy for the work of our hands. Let the goodness and mercy of the Lord, let it follow us. Let it abide with us. Lord, we are praying in everything that we do, let goodness and mercy follow us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Over and unto Pastor Matthew. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we will just call on uh, um, Pastor ba and Bala. I mean, Bani, unfortunately, he's not on live today. And then I want us all of us to pray for him, but I, I, I he's not on live. Unfortunately, I think I'm not prepared, but today, by the grace of the Lord, you will. I will surrender myself to your prayer as Zena. Is it Asna? Or how do we call it? Is it pray Asna? You pray for me. Now, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all what God is doing in my life, God should fulfill it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, for how powerful the this online program is, and the, how elevation uh, God has given your servant all is only God knows. That, that it was, you know, yesterday or day yesterday, I was uh, Pastor Basiki, uh, Miss Pastor Lena Basiki. Somebody sent message to him about me, so he asked to send message to me immediately that I should talk to that particular person in Britain. Then I called that particular person to it was person that have talked to me. It was then I know that there's something they call ego. For the deeper life Bible church, that everything they are doing, 
there are some yeah, people that are watching them. them. So the I was supported to Pastor Nina, and then Pastor Nina asked me to go. So I what I want to say, who am I? If not all this program for all those big weeks, people like Bible Church. Uh I so I pray that Almighty God that just in uh that is doing all this thing in my ministry by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will not leave me alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, there's one prayer I, I've been reserving for today, but I can't remember that. But I want Almighty God, a second one, to breathe to my marriage. Um yeah, we have been in deeper life, we have been in deeper life. And then if not in deeper life, many of you know what I passed through, only few people can pass through it before they they decided that okay, no matter what it may be, church will not. A lot of trial, a lot of temptation, a lot of pressure from outside and inside that at this level, this should be done. But with all my journey in deeper life, why should I ask in a minute? And I will spot everything in a second. But I won't deceive you. It is not an easy journey. It, is, it has not been an easy journey. But to me, there is nothing God cannot do. So you will pray for me that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God should breathe to my marriage in Jesus' name. I think that's the second one. The third one, all my projects, everything, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I should fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. So that's those that, 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 that uh, God has lifted me, lifted me up in the ministry. It should not let me, it should not let me, it should not let me down. God should breathe my marriage and all my project, all my plan, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I should fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. So I offer myself to your prayer as now. Is it as now or whatsoever? And I know God is going to answer in Jesus' name. And as we finish uh, today by Pastor Peter, you help us run this up. So, Mark, you can take over from here so that I will not be the okay. one that is free. <laughs> okay. Me. It's okay, sir. Let's, let's call upon the name of the Lord. A pastor has told God all is our desire. Lord. Let's pray that the Lord will lift him up in the ministry. Father, we'll the, Lord the Lord will elevate him. The Lord will lift him up. The Lord will promote him. That the Lord will speak for him. Mercy will speak for him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. God will breathe upon his marriage. God will breathe upon his family. Every challenge, every storm in the family, the Lord will swallow it up. The power of 